on a scale of one to 10, they have to have that belief being at a 10 in themselves if they want to be successful in this business. I can believe it. And I, I'm a good judge of character. I can really look at someone, talk with someone and figure out if they can be successful in this industry. But if they don't believe it for themselves, it's just not going to happen. My belief isn't enough for them. It's enough to get them started, but it's not enough for them to be a six-figure income earner and really have a successful business. They've got to have that belief. It's got to be a 10 out of 10 if they want to truly be successful in this industry. Welcome to the Network Marketing Made Simple podcast. I am your host, Scott Aaron, and each and every week, I'm going to come to you with short, simple, and powerful tactics of how you can grow your network marketing business, brand, bank account, and impact on those around you. And just remember, network marketing is not easy, but it can be made easy with simple steps to create the success that you truly deserve. Welcome to episode 68 of the Network Marketing Made Simple podcast. And you, if you are a new listener, then welcome. And if you are a returning listener, then welcome back. And as always, if you are a network marketer, and whether you're new or seasoned, and you are still building your business primarily through the means of Facebook and Instagram, and you are not yet tapping into the amazing potential of LinkedIn, then head over to my website, www.scottaaron.net, fill out the form to schedule a free 15-minute discovery call with me so you can, I can learn more about you, your business, and how we can work together. So in the string of amazing leadership interviews that I've been doing, today is going to be no different. It's going to be someone that will inspire you to move forward. And this is a dear friend of mine that not only I got to know first on a personal level, but we've been able to do some work together and help each other and teams. But more so, I love the heart of service that this person has. And obviously, in the show notes, you will see all about her. And this is someone that I love so much because they don't live with any excuses. They live by the reasons to drive forward, not for themselves only, but to empower those around them. So... Instead of me telling their story, I want them to tell you their own story. So with that, Cindy Walter, welcome to to today's show. Thanks so much, Scott. I'm so excited to be here with you today. Well, thank you, my friend. And and again, just so grateful for you. And and I want to just jump right into it because a lot of people listen to this on their way to work and or on the way home. So just go into it. Brief bio of you. Um, who you are, and how you found network marketing. Sure, sure. So I am Cindy Walter, mom of four amazing kids slash adults, really. My son's 24, and then three daughters, 22, 19, and 17. And my family's my world and my why for why I do this business and why I continue to work so tirelessly to help and change and impact lives. And I found direct sales network marketing from a newspaper ad when I was 19 years old, Scott. And um, I was, I paid my own way through college and I worked full time and did anything I could part-time. I waitressed, I taught aerobics in a big health club, um, anything I could to make enough money to be able to pay for college without having to take out too much in student loan debt. Um, and so I answered an ad, started with a home party plan company, and then, um, then it, that just kind of opened my, my eyes to this amazing industry. And that was just a real quick little, little blurb in the industry. But once I got married and started a family, then I took it very seriously. And I was with two direct selling companies um, going into homes, doing home parties in people's homes for 20 years. And then I was introduced. Actually, I wasn't introduced. I found... Um, my health and wellness company that I've been with for the last seven years. And it has been the biggest game changer and the best decision that I've ever made. Well, you are a seven figure career earner. And, and I mean, and, and would you say, not that you weren't successful before, but would you say these last seven years with the company that you are with has been the most successful? Oh, without a doubt. And it it really, people will ask me questions like that. And 
my, my answer is always, you have to work with a product that produces life-changing results. The products mm. that I sold prior didn't change people's lives. Like our products change people's lives. And you have to work partner with a company that for me is full of integrity, that really cares about impacting people and um, partnering with the right company and the right team with the right products. It gives you that, that really unbelievable vehicle that can be life-changing. And, and this is the thing that was key for me and most important was that it didn't just change my financial future, my family's future. It has changed my team's future, my team's financial blueprint. So it's not just me earning money where that's kind of the case in the last two companies I was with. Now, just to give people an idea, how many people in your specific team are either cumulative millionaires since saying yes, or are making a full-time income after saying yes? How many people would you say a roundabout number? Okay, good question. So we have over 40,000 customers now. Wow. Um, I always tell people about 85% of them are customers that take out their phone, go to their app and order their products. About 15% share, about one to 3% do this full-time like I do. We have four cumulative millionaires. Um, and multi, multi six figure income earners. And then we have about 13 six figure income earners. Wow. Um, yeah. So we're, and it just continues to grow. So um, yeah. And it's, it's amazing to be, to be part of something that is really changing people's lives. And, you know, again, what I love about you so much is that you do have a heart of service, but for the listeners that, that are hearing this, Cindy found network marketing through a ad in a newspaper. And this is before social media. This is before everything else. And you made it work. But even when you said yes, 2011 going into 2012, social media was not what it was right now today when you first started. So people like, I think, Cindy, what, what people don't understand is how how good they have it right now with the availability of connectability. The, you know, you and I are both belly to belly type people. We love human connection and all of these people come in and they're posting and praying and doing all these things. And at the core foundation of building an incredible and solid network marketing business and team is creating that human connection with those individuals. So that, that leads me to my next question. Let's not talk about the party planning stuff. Let's talk about just the last seven years because, you know, not saying that 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 journey is irrelevant, but what's most relevant is what's right in front of us, which is these last seven years. Sure. What was the biggest challenge? I mean, because your challenges were different because you went from one company to another company. What was the biggest challenge that you personally faced when, quote unquote, restarting or digging into the sand for a third time? when you started seven years ago? Mm, I don't think anyone's asked me that question before. So starting over, um, a humbling experience because I couldn't do two businesses at the same time because I was a top leader in my last business. So starting all over again after I was a top leader for six of my last 10 years. So that was very humbling. Um, humbling to start over, not know anyone from corporate, not have any relationships, go to my first event with two people. Um, when I was used to having a team around me. Mm. Um, but I, I'd have to say, you know, and, and, and losing some friendships. So that was really hard on me because if I were to have left my last company and got a job anywhere else in corporate America, I probably wouldn't have lost friends. But yeah. I had a couple of people that did feel threatened that I was leaving and going to another network marketing company. So that was tough. Um, but I would say the toughest thing was, having people that I knew without a shadow of a doubt could be a massive success with this business, this business model, these products. And then my believing in them wasn't quite enough. They didn't believe in themselves and they, they didn't make it happen. That was really disappointing in the beginning. And honestly, that's about when I met you um, getting a coach. I hired a coach because the disappointment was, was pretty big. And yeah. it, and I, I needed to find a way to get over it that I couldn't, 
believe in people more than they believe in themselves. And so honestly, for the last, you know, seven years, I've been on this journey of mindset and the importance of mindset. And I can believe in you forever. But until you believe in yourself, you won't have that success that you're destined to have. So I teach and preach it 24 seven now. And it's it's really great. Because when you see that light bulb go off for people, and they finally get it, it is magical. That's something it's, oh, that was such a beautiful statement because when I do trainings and, and I, and I do my own coaching obviously as well, I, t- I talk about the 5149 rule and you touched on it. You have to want it 49% for that person and they have to want it 51% for themselves. If those numbers are reversed, you want it 51% for them and they want it 49% for themselves, it's never going to happen. Right. And, and it's so true that you're looking for people that don't want to be babysat. They, they're, they're, they want to build something, not just for themselves, but the legacy that they want to leave behind for themselves. And, and this is a people business. And, and it's hard not to take things personally because you do have to have thick skin. You got to put that body armor on every day because when you make decisions like you did, and, and here's the thing, people said, well, Cindy, you're being selfish. You know, you left this company, you're going here, you're all about the money, blah, blah, blah. No, when your heart speaks to you so loudly that you need to make a change, not for you, it, you knew deep down inside that this move was going to bless that many more lives. If someone can't see that, it's not our problem. They right. have to. They have to turn the mirror around for themselves. And and I, I just need to commend you for for taking that step because it's scary. It's scary. Yeah. It's scary being a top leader in another company and leaving that team behind, quote unquote, because that's what people would say you did. You left us behind when you were actually looking out for their benefit. You found something that could take where they were now and just shoot them past the moon if they saw what you did. But again. It's not your job and it's not your responsibility to do so. They have to see it for themselves. So now that you are a part of this new company, things are growing. What what's the onboarding process like? So let's let's forget about the people that came with you, all the new people that you've been bringing on. Someone wants to start building with you. Number one, what's what's your typical onboarding process of introducing them to the business side of network marketing? And number two. How do you keep your team engaged and moving forward in times of, of when things are stagnant or kind of plateaued or maybe going backwards? What, what are those two things that you do? Okay, so onboarding, really, I start off with an interview process, finding out what their goals are and what their why is. Because if people come into this industry and they, they don't have a very powerful why, The first rejection they hit, they're going to be out. And so we need to set them up for success. So I find out, you know, why are you doing this? What are your goals? And I really try to get them to dream big, cast that vision for them of what is possible, because I've seen it over and over and over again with the right company and with the right products, people can have the success they really deserve in this, in this business. So it's really getting down to what are their goals? What is their why? And what is it that's so strong that when they get their first no or their second or their 10th or their 20th, that they're going to, they're going to feel strong enough to go back and, and try again and try again and try again. And so I spent a lot of time on that in the beginning. And then I plug them into the system we have in place. We've got a beautiful system. We have, you know, a, a product page to bring our prospects to and educate them on the products and Then we have a business um, page and we bring them into the business page and I do weekly calls. And then I also do weekly calls for my my top leaders and really work with them because it's a trickle down effect. And when things get tough, second part of your question, those are the people that I, I really love to work with because they're our connection to the whole entire team. So I put a lot of time and energy and pouring into my leaders so that hopefully they will duplicate that and bring it down to their teams. And we, you know, my, my team will tell you they they feel valued. I, I listen to people. I care about them. I, I love their suggestions. A lot of the things that I do are at the suggestion of my leaders. Uh, I don't come up with everything on my own. I I'm a great listener. I listen to what they, they, 
they need, what they suggest, and we run with it and we collaborate. And that's a big word. We, we collaborate and come up with things together to make our team function at, at, at its best. And always, always with the heart to serve other people, because I've learned that my success in this industry is totally dependent on me helping other people get their level of success, whatever that is for them. I don't set their goals for them. I find out what their goals are. I try to help them achieve them. But when they're successful, it it blesses me tenfold. Yeah, it it feels so good. It's you pave the way you are. You're guiding them to the beach that has the footprints of success already laid out. They just have to take those steps forward. And, and that was beautifully, beautifully stated. So final questions to really, you know, leave the audience better and, and really pushing them forward. What would be your personal number one tip to share with someone if they're starting to build their business? So they don't have a beautiful system like you guys do. They don't have an upline. They don't have a downline. But all they know is they believe in the product that they're consuming. They believe in network marketing. What would you say is the number one best tip for that person to get started to build their own business? Oh, consistency. I was just talking to my son builds the business full time with me and he was just here for a few days and uh, we got to work together. And I said to him, oh, if I could teach people one thing in this business, it is to not start and stop and start and stop. And I see it over and over again with people that just can't seem to gain momentum The people that hit it big in this industry and make this a real career income for themselves and for their families are the ones that are are consistent day in and day out. They they do what they need to do to make things happen. And if something stops working, they find another way to make it work and they change their approach, but they never take their foot off the gas. And if if that's the one thing I can leave the audience with today, that's what it is. Be consistent. In the beginning, it may be messy and it doesn't have to be pretty, but it does need to be consistent. And eventually you'll get to the point where you'll have enough people in place that you'll, you'll find your systems. You're not dependent on an upline. You can do this all by yourself. I, I, I did this all by myself. I built this all by myself as I built and I started to get some team members that wanted to run with me and found some awesome leadership in my team. We built it together and we, then we put our systems in place. I didn't have systems in the beginning either. We did, we built this together, but the bottom line is you have to treat it like a business and you have to have to be consistent with it every day. And I love, I, and I actually, I have something called the network marketing Academy, which you, you, you checked out at one point. And it's so funny. The training that I did this week was called the power of being consistent because we always talk about the compound effect about, you know, Darren Hardy, the book that he wrote, you can't create the compounded effect if you're not consistent each and every day. And something that I live by is doing a little of something every day is better than doing a lot of nothing every day. And it's, it's, it's that true. So this brings me to my final question. And again, just like you said, 85% of people's businesses are traditionally just happy customers using, sharing. And you said, you know, 15% build, but only 1% to 3% actually do it full time. For, for those, that 1% to 3% that really wants to go for this, that, that it's not that they're money motivated, but they do want to create monetary and time freedom for themselves and their family. For you, and this could be a past or new tip. What's the best way for someone in this day and age, 2019, to find new business builders that are business minded, that believe in the power of network marketing, residual income and multiple streams of income? Oh, that's a good question. And that's, you know, really one of the reasons we started working together. Um, I built my business originally through social media on Facebook and I dabbled with Instagram, um, but primarily used Facebook. And why I came to you for help was because I, not not that I don't have any energy there anymore, I still do, and occasionally I'll find someone, but it was more of an, a, a rarity. So I wanted to 
up my game because last year our business was flatlined and I thought, okay, what, what do I have control over here? I'm not someone that's going to sit around and whine if things aren't going well. I changed my approach like I just shared with you. So I thought, all right, I'm going to really, even though I've been doing personal development for 27 years, I, I took it up another notch and I, I listened to really good positive stuff every single day of my life. And then I invested in LinkedIn training and got on LinkedIn and um, I have found a business builder. And so it's, it's, it's looking for people that are open to opportunity. I, um, I do it now through LinkedIn. I always am doing it belly to belly when I'm meeting people asking for referrals, trying to find those diamonds in a rough that have a why that is so powerful. They're willing to, you know, really do what it takes to make, to make it happen for themselves. And those are the people that I just love linking arms with working with and, and mentoring to, to, because I know with all the mistakes I've made over the past 27 years, I can really shorten someone's learning curve now and teach them how to do this properly. And the thing is, is the, the name of this podcast is, is Network Marketing Made Simple, and, and I'm approaching 10,000 downloads since December, which is incredible because knowing that I've been able to impact that many, um, that, that amount of lives in such a short amount of time. And the reason why I wanted to start doing these leadership series interviews is because I'm preaching the simplicity of network marketing. I keep preaching the simplicity of being an entrepreneur. And, you know, as much as people want to hear it from me, I need them to hear it from other people like you and the other leaders that I've interviewed because these questions that I asked these, these top leaders, it's very simplistic answers. It's, it's having a powerful why. It's being consistent. It's following a system. It's doing the do. It's believing in yourself. And when you can really harness the simplicity of what needs to be done within this profession, you can achieve anything that you want. So, Cindy, thank you again so much for your time and your energy and all of the amazing content you brought to today's episode. So before we sign off, how can people get in touch with you on social media? Where can they find you uh, and how can the audience connect back with Cindy? Sure. Uh, my name is spelled C-Y-N-D-I. So my website is www.cindywalter with no S, C-Y-N-D-I-W-A-L-T-E-R.com. And there they can click on uh, to have a free 15 minute consultation to talk about their goals, etc. I'm also on Facebook as Cindy Walter and Cindy A. Walter on Instagram and Cindy Walter on LinkedIn. So I'm on all of those platforms. Uh, would love to help and inspire. And, you know, just keep in mind that the vehicle of network marketing is a vehicle that an ordinary person can do extraordinary things. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful thing when it's done properly. And it can really change and bless your life in ways you have absolutely no idea. I love it. So, so guys, please do what Cindy has said, go schedule a free 15 minute discovery call with her, follow her on social media, see what it looks like to be a professional network marketer that leads with a heart of service. So Cindy, thank you so much again for being here today and for the audience. Thank you guys so much for joining today. I hope you enjoyed the episode and I will see you next time. Thank you again so much for checking out this week's episode. And if you can, head over to iTunes, search for Network Marketing Made Simple. Leave me a five-star rating, basic review. I would be grateful for all of the support you guys can give me. And again, if you'd be interested in learning more, how to utilize LinkedIn to grow your business, your brand, and your bank account, head over to my website, www.scotterron.net. Fill out the form for your free 15-minute discovery call so I can learn more about you, your business, and how we can work together. And again, thank you guys so much. Grateful for you all, and I'll see you next time. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. 
Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.